Uh, good enough. Um, so, yeah. So, I came here in February 2019 uh, to do an expedition with my dog team. I've been in Alaska before twice. I skied the Kobuk River and then another time I was in Lake Clark National Park. Um, both visits was just, you know, it was just amazing and I felt like this is a place I need to explore more. But this time around, when I came back the third time, I was feeling anxious and restless to go back home to Norway. I was just like, I'm not, I don't think I want to be in Norway right now. I think I want to see more of Alaska. So I decided to move here for a full year. Um, and that full year turned me into, oh, I want to be in Alaska full time. So things develop quickly with me, I must say. But um, I came here to do an expedition last winter with my dog team and... <laughs> I was driving up to the Brooks Range through Adigan Pass alone with four dogs in the springtime and I just remember how freaking gorgeous it was. It just it caught my breath and I was just like, dude, I cannot leave this. I need to see more of Alaska. I need to explore this. It's right outside my door. Like imagine living here and being in Alaska and you have access to all this land. I don't have to travel across the sea with dogs and, and gear every time I want to see something like see more country like more wilderness and so I was like you know what there's no reason for me to go back home there's no reason for me to 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 not do this you know and part of that decision was that I just came out of a pretty long relationship it was four and a half years and we decided to split ends and go each our direction in life and so that's when I kind of like escaped to Alaska to do my expedition to like clear my head and get away from home and a change of scenery, which I think a lot of people do, you know, they either like go to a resort or a spa, or whatever. And I actually was like, oh, fuck it, I'll go to Alaska and do an expedition. Um, and it was good for me to come here and realize that I can start over and I can have a new life and I can hold on to some things in my life and I can also, you know, start a new chapter. And if that means that I need, like, needs to, if that means that I need to live on the other side of the ocean, like, that's what I'm gonna do. So I was like, you know what, nothing's gonna stop me except for the visa, of course, or the, the, the immigration policies, but I was lucky and got a year visa and now I've been able to extend it. So I am feeling very, very lucky with my situation. Um, right now I live in a dry cabin on outside of Fairbanks on the east side of town. I live with nine dogs that are like my kids. And truth be told, they're like the closest thing I have to a family right now. I have a mom and dad and, and cousins and brothers and everything, but these are the dogs that I'm with all the time. These are, these are the dogs that are like are my family. So people might think it's weird, but in Alaska, I don't think people think it's weird because people have dogs for family here more, you know, more so than people have kids almost. That's my impression anyways. Um... So yeah, I think it's time for me to start this YouTube channel for people back home to see how it is to live here and and how I like what it is to see in Alaska and and so on and yeah, I just hope you guys will tag along on the journey and if you have any questions, you know, you can do we could do a Q&A or you could yeah, you could fire away in the in the comment section, but let me show you a little bit what my life is about right now. <laughs> I got my friend with me. Hi. This is Stevie. She's a lawyer, very important person. <laughs> a little bit, only sometimes. <laughs> We're gonna go hike up the Mount Prindle today, which is a 19 mile hike, uh, round tour, up and down. And I brought Nanook in Alaska with me. It's gonna backpack and we should have a good time. It's gonna be a great day. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Ooh. Alaska, you ready? So, got a brand new backpack for Nanook, shipped in from Norway, highest quality 
dog park back, there's literally to be found on the planet. And I'm not saying that just because I'm sponsored. I'm saying that because it's the truth. They are so heavy duty, these things. It's crazy. And he's very accustomed to this because you see how Stan is, is standing? It's because he, he knows the deal. I've done this before. I'm a professional dog athlete. Right, now, look. You're professional? You're a little professional, huh? Let me see. because of the wind it's perfect temperature Steve would like to have it a little hotter but I'm from Texas what can I say for me being a Viking from the north you know this is perfect it could even be chillier so we disagree we agree on disagree <laughs> is that what you said yeah yeah <laughs> Ooh. in Alaska she's having a blast and Nanook he found a hoof a caribou hoof and he's enjoying it, aren't you, Nanook? But it was over so fast. Just one thing to discover. Oh no, it was never built to last. Ooh, ooh, ooh. you just fall. today but the only one thing to do about it and that's to hike more and that's exactly what you're gonna see more of on this YouTube channel if you subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this hike to Mount Prindle and there will be more to come